Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Karen Waldrop. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. We did six CMA Fest shows in a row, so I know I'm ready to chill out. I was just going to say, <laughs> man, you're a busy girl. You are Thank so you. incredible on that stage, though, Thank and you. everybody loved you, and you're sassy and fun. You guys, she has an amazing guitar, so I want to I want her to show it to you right now before before you know that way she can put it away. Her but name is Diamond. Her name is, she's and beautiful. She actually has a pretty cool story. I actually uh, had borrowed someone's J45. This is a Gibson J45. I had borrowed their Gibson J45 and you fell, fallen in love with it for like a month. And then I had to give it back to him, which is kind of a heartbreak. And so when I gave it back to him, I really wanted a Gibson J45. And so I was in Guitar Center one day buying a microphone and I was waiting on the guy who was supposed to be hooking me up with like 20% off on the microphone. And he was working with uh, someone in the line and he said, well, I'll be right with you. So right whenever I went to go buy the microphone, he picks this guitar up and he goes, hey, you wouldn't happen to want to buy a Gibson J45, would you? And I went, yeah, <laughs> but what's with the diamonds all over it? And he was like, oh, this was originally John Rich's guitar who plays in a band called Big and Rich. Mm -hmm. And they had done a show on Gone Country and everybody who was on the show got a guitar, this exact one, that was covered in rhinestones. And so the girl who was supposed to have this guitar, apparently, allegedly, got kicked off the show. And so the guy who did the artwork of the diamonds ended up with the guitar, and he's the one who traded it into Guitar Center. Oh, and wow. And I bought it for, like, 75% off because they thought that the guitar was damaged because it had the rhinestones on it, so it wasn't original J45. Oh, wow. So I, it was like a God send thing. That, so. we, we, you know what, we like to call those God moments. Like, yep. I, we've been having God moments all week this week. It's been incredible. And I Absolutely. saw that guitar while you were playing on stage and I was like, that is just so pretty. Thanks. And it just matches your personality. Like you Thanks, just sparkle girl. up there. Me and so, rich, huh? Right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So she's missing some diamonds right now. She, I have to take her to the doctor every about six months because she gets beat up on the road. But, <laughs> but this is diamonds. It's all right because nobody on that nobody out there would even know, right? You know, know. because you're you're she close gets and personal with sure. it. And then on the on the top of it, she has some uh, and it says diamond and then around the edge oh wow he, did that. he actually did that after but anyway so diamond has quite a story and she's been on the road for four years wow so she's been busted open two different times as you can tell right right she but gets beat up you know what but she's she's <laughs> rocking it she's loyal it's she's good so right good. she has a little attitude though sometimes she'll be like Rawr. Well, I, I have a feeling her mama might have a little attitude, That's too, right. up on that stage. You, man, those songs and your delivery you. and your sassiness, it's Thanks. great. And you had a ton of fans. And for me, watching you get to interact with everybody down there and taking pictures and signing everything, what is that like for you? Because cool. just watching you, I was just like, man, that's so great. I love it. It's great. I mean, it's, it's great to have anybody at any moment of time that supports right. what you're doing, no matter what it is, no matter if you have a floral florist shop or right. whether you have a your own business entrepreneur business and for me it's you know it's my own business and, right. and I have people who who love the product and the product for me is luckily music so right when they come up and they tell me that oh my god I really love the song or I really right. loved whatever moment it was exactly. it's just what fuels me and it, it keeps us going absolutely and, and it's not an easy road that's for sure it, you know what it isn't we're, and we hear that all the time you know from artists and you know so it, it's great that people like the ice man right. you know they put on this show and you know 150 artists at three venues he's been a lot you know giving them the opportunity to play and they don't have to pay absolutely and it's just it's an incredible way to get your music out there to more and more and more fans and cma fest oh my gosh you have people coming from all over the world and have you had any crazy encounters with fans that have told you oh i'm here from germany or i'm here from i mean i've heard new zealand i've heard all kinds of places yeah i met some girls from iowa they were really into it um i've met some people from florida tampa just yeah, all over the country yeah. they're here i don't have met that many international people since i've been here but right but to have one gig at cma mm -hmm. fest is great and we had six right so we were like and i know when you said we that just i was took like every Dang. single gig we got we just right. took it. We were like, yep, yes, yes, yes. We'll do it. <laughs> and we just did Well, it. I mean, that's great. You're putting yourself out there. And oh my gosh, you have the cutest merchandise too. Thanks. She's got the cutest koozies. They're little boots. Are they available online? They're cowboy boots, yeah. Okay, we have to tell them. You guys have to buy these boots cowboy online. Boot They're koozie. amazing. They're absolutely amazing. And so is there anything else that you it's want to tell them? Yeah, <laughs> I love that. It is a boozy. And they're it's pink. A boozy. I saw yeah. pink ones and pink black ones. Pink ones and black ones. We got 
t-shirts cds it really yes, these days you know when you're independent you really rely heavily on merch so right i try and to make, your merch girl she's rocking it down she's there awesome. i gotta give you a shout out i don't know your name mclean you are so <laughs> cute you're just rocking it offering all this merch all to be shows Go man girl. man it's great and what is that like for you too you're like wow i've got a merch girl like is that is that really helpful for you because oh, it's yes. one for me I just imagine that would be like a lot of stress relieved off of your shoulders. Oh, yeah. You know, so you can focus on something else. Absolutely. Having a team, having a driver, having a merch mm -hmm. girl, having a band. I mean, all of it. I used to think back because, you know, you go in progression right. of this thing. And right. I, I went through a phase where I played a lot of acoustic gigs. Right. And then I had to take that step to bring it to a band level. Mm -hmm. And then I had to take a financial cut for a little while right because I was paying the band right. and I wasn't t making as much because I wasn't but I was playing larger rooms so I used to right. think oh my god it's gonna be so much harder with the band because we're gonna have so much more gear and stuff right. but it is so much easier because you have all those people mm, helping and you have definitely. three guys or sometimes for me four when I have a saxophone so and that, you know, that's what I was going to talk about too. You have a saxophone on stage. And yeah, girl. You when know I it. when Possible I heard weapon. that when when I heard that I like flipped around. I was like, whoa! I didn't secret see that weapon. coming. Oh yeah, secret weapon. Secret that's, weapon. People love love the sax. So I I am and I was a band nerd in high school. So for me, you know, I played baritone and I was in the brass section. And when you when we were in jazz band yep. and man, that saxophone. When I heard it on stage, I was like, oh, you go, you got. It's this. such a tie into the New Orleans heritage because mm -hmm. I'm from New Orleans and my music's a little bit more in your face, right? Than just a typical thing. So when I started incorporating the saxophone, it really right. it really encourages women to dance. It gets yeah, it does. It gets especially women, guys too. But women really love the saxophone. I love the sound of it. Yes, and that reminds me of the celebratory feel of New mm. Orleans and fun. And it's the saxophone is just. I'm just gonna say it's a, just a sexy instrument. It totally is. It really. Is. It just is. It's super sexy. And I mean, you know, I remember in school, girls wanted to date the sax players or oh, the drummers. Yeah. It was like the sax or the drummer. You know, it was great. But it's good fun. job. You're you're doing some amazing things. What do you have coming up that you can tell the fans about? Well, I'm constantly on the road, um, so I play music all over the country. Right. So if you're watching this, just go to my website, KarenWaldrop.com, and see if there's a show near you. Right. Um, another thing that I really pride myself on is I live stream every single show that I ever play. So if you follow me on Facebook and you're cooking your dinner or you're putting your baby to bed or you're doing your laundry, you can see, literally watch the yes. show. And you can be like, oh, my gosh, she's in Memphis or, oh, my gosh, she's in New Orleans. Right. Or, and so that's really something that I, tr I try to do to, like, build the, the thing. And then in the meantime, you know, it's like we're all working on Music Row working the contacts and working the yeah. business of that but you can't say anything about it until it's signed so you just right you just keep on chipping away at, at the at the grassroots level until right till you get signed and then at that point it changes things a little right. bit right for me right now it's really just about while i'm waiting for that because we have some really great things on the hook for that hopefully okay Amen. perfect god. perfect we're working god is up there working on that um yep. but in the meantime you know just just making music because i think unfortunately and I'm not talking about about any other musicians, but yeah, no. I think that some people get a little carried away in all of the stuff that comes around it and forget right. that it's just music. It's just right. music. And if you're making music, which is why I live stream all my music shows, right. then you're connecting with people through music, not through products or branding or imaging or whatever. Right. So I really try to stay true to the music element of it and, and put that on the web as much as I can. and absolutely and play as many shows as I can and it's a lot of work <laughs> yeah you know what it, it is and one of the things that we love here at Center Stage is being able to connect the fan to you to your personality because it's one thing to hear you it's one thing to see you play but then to get to hear you talk and yeah, you know thanks. connect with them I just think I think it's going to create that desire okay well now I want to hear more now I know this girl I've, I've heard her her totally. personality is amazing now let's, Behind let's the scenes. see exactly so definitely well thank you for giving us this thank opportunity you. you guys check her out all of her social media, we'll post all the links for you. And until then, guys, stay tuned.